Hey, Gigi, this is V in New York calling about that Stevie J story. Um, I don't exactly know what's going on with this trend in the media now. Why is it that it seems like every time a beautiful black woman has some, received some kind of accolades, somebody from within, quote, unquote, the community has got to come up within that same time frame to throw shade on it in, like, a really nasty way. First, it's Lizzo, who's uh, inducted into the top five of uh, the top five of women who, who have made number one on the Billboard charts, and then here comes Azalea Banks calling her a mammy. Now we see Missy Elliott receiving the, uh, the Vanguard Award, and what happens? Stevie J goes and opens his mouth about something that probably did happen, especially if this guy was one of their bosses in the industry. Leave these women alone. Let them live and shine in their light. Stop trying to be all skin folk, trying to shade their glory. Let them be. Leave Missy alone. If she had to deal with that stuff with her cousins, because I don't know if anybody knows that, Genuine and Timbaland are her cousins. So, you know, they're all family members, and they just was trying to make it, and they did. Leave her alone. That's all. Bye. Hey, Gigi. This is um, Hyper Marie. I comment on your videos whenever I can. Um, let me just let you know, girl, okay, I've had a couple drinks, I'm a little tipsy, but I wanted to just comment on two different things. Um, Azalea Banks and 50 Cents are annoying. You're doing what you want to do. You're successful in your own right. Stop harassing and honestly bullying people. Lizzo is overweight. So overweight people deserve to have representation. They deserve to be happy and sexy and comfortable. I used to be overweight. Let her live. She's successful. She's talented, Okay. Um, Azalea, it's jealousy. You're hateful. Let it go. Fifty, if you don't stop commenting like a 14-year-old child that is put on punishment and had your, you know, amenities taken away, like, why is he so angry and bitter? Like, why are you so upset, bro? Like, someone, both of them, and I'm not an advocate of violence, but they both will meet their match in the sense that people are not always going to be okay with you talking crap about them. So I need for both of them to, to humble themselves, to be grateful. I'm going to say a little prayer. But honestly, I'm going to just put my prayers on people who deserve them, honestly. I'm going to share with you. Lizzo, um, Paris Jackson, all of that. So I need 50 and Azalea to get over it, to grow up, and to move on because it is not a good look. Anyway, Gigi, I'm going to let you go. Okay, girl, I love your videos. Keep it up. You always just playing with the, fly, the, the, the styles, the hair, the clothes, the everything. So keep it up, girl. And to everybody else, y'all stay blessed. You know, let's stay supportive and happy. God is good. And everybody have a wonderful night. Okay, I'm going to go. Okay, I'm having another drink. Okay, bye. Hey, this is Nae Nae from Birmingham, Alabama. <clears throat> Stevie J. Come ahead and let me clip my throat for this one. If you don't sit your irrelevant ass down, boy, your motherfucking goddamn Stevie looking ass down, boy, talking about this and that that Jody C. with Devontae used to go through the office with two big pig bulls, um, like Shug style type shit. Stevie. In my Jocelyn boy, sit your ass down. You want the clout. You know Faith ain't giving you that clout because she is the body. It's not going to work out between you two. So don't be trying to give, give no kind of eyes looking towards Miss Juliet because she won that VMA award and you need some attention. We know you the Scorpio and y'all are some vindictive motherfuckers. Excuse me for my other Scorpios, but I'm the Zodiac Queen. Now, it's ask Nay Nay, and I want to ask you this, Stevie. What's your reason for coming against motherfucking Missy Elliot? No. It's the reason because you are irrelevant, motherfucker. Sit your ass down. Sit your ass down. Sit your ass down, Stevie. Ask Nay Nay and this bitch. Out. Hi, this is V calling from New York, and I was responding to the um, Isaiah Washington and um, Matt Barnes story. Um, it makes sense in a couple for for a lot of the reasons that Matt Barnes mentioned that a Isaiah might be trying to do something shocking, a little trend worthy to try to get his name. Uh, analytics kicking back up again i just don't think that this is really the best route for him he seems to be kind of taking the candace owens move because she used to run websites back in the day that uh used to be anti-trump that used to you know uh 
uh, stage contest for people to guess the, the length of his, well, you know. Anyway, that's not, that's what she used to be. Now she's uh, working for him. So, um, as far as Isaiah goes, you know, he needs something shocking, but he can't blame, you know, the the, lib, the liberal Hollywood elite, as they love to call it, on the right-wing side. He can't blame them for reacting negatively to his homophobic tirade on set of his, the last show that he was actually hired at. So he can't blame them, and it seems as though the way that he feels about Hollywood right now, because they shunned him, is the way that a lot of uh, right-wing media probably feels about Hollywood as well. But he might have to learn the hard way that the enemy of his enemy or his per- perceived enemy is not his friend. So I hope that he rethinks this um, because it's not really a good look for him, uh, just for, for a variety of reasons. I wish him all luck. Thanks a lot. Have a good night. Thanks for letting me rant, Gigi. I love you. Bye. Hey. My name is Michelle, and I have something to say about 50 Cent talking about Michael Jackson. Okay, that is a legend. That is a legend that he being just respectful to a legend all around the world. Okay, the new generations, y'all don't respect the old legends. Like, that's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's really messed up. And I can't believe he said Michael Jackson was messing with boys when they paid these little boys to mess 